Lesson one. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to partition a whole into equal parts using models to count unit fractions. We are learning this so that we can understand fractions as equal parts of a whole. We will know that we are successful when we can partition a whole length into equal parts and name the unit fraction. What is partition? To partition is to divide into equal parts. What is a unit fraction? A unit fraction is one part of a whole or one unit. The yellow strip is 12 inches long. How many equal parts does it have? It has two equal parts. Do you see the line going straight down the middle? That's halfway. The strip is divided into two equal parts. The yellow strip has two halves. Each half is a fractional unit. Is each half equal? Yes, it is. I can see on the ruler that each half is six inches long. The blue strip is 12 inches long. How many equal parts does it have? It has three equal parts. The blue strip has three thirds. Each third is a fractional unit. Is each third equal? Yes, each third is exactly four inches long. The green strip is 12 inches long. How many equal parts does it have? It has four parts. The green strip has four fourths. Each fourth is a fractional unit. Is each fourth equal? Yes. Each fourth is three inches. Now it's time for our read, draw, write problem. Kia uses chalk to mark off the length of her driveway in four equal parts. The driveway is 20 feet long. How long is each? Part. We're going to read the question and pick out the important information. Then we'll draw a picture to help solve the problem. And finally, we'll write the answer as a sentence. Let's read it again, picking out the most important information. Kia uses chalk to mark off the length of her driveway in four equal parts. The driveway is 20 feet long. 
how long is each part? So we know the driveway is 20 feet long and the length of her driveway is four, is divided into four equal parts. So there's a couple of way that we, ways that we can do this. One way is to count by fours to 20 to find out how many times four goes into 20. Let's try that. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20. Four goes into 20 five times. So we can say that each part must be five feet. Let's draw that out. I'm going to go to my Google Jamboard so that I can show you how to draw a picture to help solve the problem. Okay, here I am at my Google Jamboard. I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to draw a tape diagram just like we did in our concept development. And I'm going to draw a driveway that is 20 feet long. So it's 20 feet in all. And I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. And remember when I'm drawing freehand, it may not look equal, but you can use a ruler when you're drawing on a piece of paper or a whiteboard to make sure that your parts are exactly equal. So we're just going to pretend that mine are equal right now. So I'm going to divide it into four equal parts. And I said that each part was five feet. And I'm going to type out my answer as a sentence, as should you. Each part is five feet because 20 divided by four parts is five. So now I've made my drawing and written my sentence I'm done.
Let's go back and look at our answer. Answer, the length of each equal part is five feet because there are four fives in 20. Okay, now it's time for you to do your own read, draw, write question on your own. So we're going to read it together and pick out the most important parts. Then you can pause this video, video and get out your whiteboard or your paper or even use a Google Jamboard to draw out your answer and write your sentence for your answer. When you've done your very best work, you can look in the description box below to compare your answer to the correct answer. Let's read it together. Felix has a carrot that is 10 inches long. He cuts it into two equal parts. How long is each part? Okay, do your very best work and I'll see you in the next lesson.